today, we're ranking clans in Mighty Omega. You're probably wondering, what's so important about them? They might look like name tags you can brag about because of its rarity, but some of them actually offer lock styles and skills with some added bonuses on top. Not only do clans boost your proficiency so you can gain more stats from macroing, but clans may just give you the edge in battle. So with all that out of the way, let's dive right into this tier list where I break down which clans really stand out and which ones for sure. If you want to know which clans are good to roll for, stick around for the full breakdown. Let's get right into the tier list. Now starting off with the various obtainable clan, On. On, that's an easy meta class. It has two guard break skills which come out literally instantly. You can't stop him. Hatsudon, really nice combo extender. Raging Blow, not affected by stun decay. Comes out instantly, has a 30 second cooldown. Hatsudon, eh, 30 second cooldown. On's proficiencies, they're great for macroing. On has muscle density, uh, what was it, 0 0.76, 77? I'm not gonna bother to check. Uh, that gives you about 147 for upper and lower. Um, there's not really much you can say about this clan because it doesn't offer more than two skills or its own individual style. Uh, but the benefit of On is you can run both the skills and have any style you want. Like, it, let me give an example. You could run pure Kung Fu and still have Hatsudo and Raging Blow. Or if you don't like Kung Fu, you can just go pure Karate or Hell, pure Capoeira. Did I say that right, Capoeira? I don't know. But yeah, On's a very diverse clan, and that's why I'd put it in meta, because you can literally run anything with it. And the benefit of On is that it doesn't have its own style, which I mentioned earlier. Meaning you're pretty much free. You're like Aaron Yeager, you know what I mean? Freedom. So like when a new style comes out, you can be like, oh, it's okay, I have On clan. I don't need to roll it. I can just use a new style like Judo or anything like that. But yeah, pretty much On meta. Is it the best? We'll get to that. Next, we have Kyo, or Kyori, however you want to pronounce it, I don't know. Uh, Kyo, meta, uh, I actually placed it above On. The reason I'm putting Kyo above On is quite simple. It literally has a kit for PvP. Like, we're talking Elbow Cut, Mountain Breaker, Supreme Fang, Ice Slice, Lion Bite. Hell, we even have a mold for this clan. And as I get started with the style, the style was actually busted OP, man. You've not seen that last fourth hit. Like, it does, I think, an extra nine damage on top. Like, imagine you have four fouls and strike power. And him the nine extra. Like, you pretty much have Koei at that point. Okay, but let's just, let's stop joking around, right? His M2 is really good as well. His M2 is really good. Uh, cool, the reason I'm putting an S to you is because of everything I just mentioned. Like, Mountain Breaker, <clears throat> that's your combo extender. Elbow Cut, that's your stun. Line Bite, that's your poke. You can use it for combo extending and it stuns. And it has no stun decay. Like, come on now. Supreme Fang. iframes. You can cancel out everything. Um, it's not as reliable as it used to be, but it's still pretty good. And Supreme actually knocks your opponent down. I think it's like 65% HP. Stuff like that. Uh, don't quote me on that one. I'm quite a factual person, you know what I mean? So. But uh, yeah, uh, cool. Real great clan. This is a generally good kit. Like, if you don't want to be an on, you yeah, have Cho. And let's just get onto its mode real quick before I go to the next one. Removal. Once you go into the mode, I think you get like 10 plus damage or around there. Anyways, if I haven't convinced you why Cho is above on, let me get you this one. Cho skills have passives. Oh, Raging Blow? Oh, Hatsudo? Uh, what's your passives? Oh, oh, you don't have passives? Oh, okay. Like, you see that? And, oh, wait, 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 wait. You, you can't upgrade Raging Blow and Hatsudo? Wait, for real? Whoa, okay. Like, you see that? That's why I put Cure Buff, because you can edit your skills to perfection. Like, have you even seen I Slice level 5 passive? Like, I don't want to yap here, but... Okay, anyways, on to the next one. Oh my god, Sen. Okay, let me try to remember Sen. Um, what was Sen? Um... Was that Muay Thai? Alright, okay, Horo was Karate. And Sen was Muay Thai. 
Uh, you know, I think Sen gives you like 3 plus damage. You know, I'm not even qualified for this, you know, I can't even rate this one. But I know it's a, a buff to Muay Thai and it has decent proficiencies. I mean, I'd rather be Clanless, so I'm gonna keep it real. You know what? Yeah, basically Clanless. I'm not gonna expand on that one because, yeah, it's, it's, it's the... I even want to talk about it. If, if you want to get like a proper analysis video on this, go, go to like some other channel because I am not like reviewing the... I'll only talk about the meta. All right, here, um, same cause. I think it gives you a buff in karate, like three plus damage and on your skills and all that. Um, basically, Clannis. Now, on to the big one, Gal. Gal, 100% above cool and on. Now, it's pretty much the same reason as cure. It has its like, own dedicated skill, you know, for PvP and all that. Uh, if you look at its kit, like it's all designed to like counter, you know, with the crouching dragon. It has a percent move which does like up to 20% of like HP. Um, twin dragon, pretty much line bite. Uh, you can actually extend off that as well, but let's not get into that. It's with a specific edit. Um, what was the other skill? Uh, root cut. Did I mention that? Oh no, no, soft strike. Soft strike was the percent and root cut is like, you know, the bleed and all that. Yeah, it's, it's really good skip. Really good. I like it. Uh, the only thing Gal was missing is a mode, but you don't really need a mode. I mean, you can just run Oni or Satsui. Okay, no one's running Oni. I'm gonna take that back. Satsui, uh, hell man, like, run Supreme Flow if you want to. I wouldn't run Supreme Flow because, you know, it's an On thing. You know, I didn't actually mention that on. I still put On below Kyo because, you know, ever since I did that Power Meter thing. I know, man, I feel like they kind of butchered the game with that. Um, that's just my opinion. I'm not so on the game or anything, but it kind of made Supreme Flow weak. Yeah, I mean, because that stuff used to like last five minutes or something. That's kind of made. Yeah, I know you have to get hit and all that and like hit them back, but you're not going to be doing that with, as, as a lean. Because you'll be running in circles and everything like that. But let me stop yapping. Uh, let me get to Gao again. Uh, it doesn't have its mold. That's okay. Gao style has a unique passive where if you hit them from behind, you do what was it? I think they nerfed it, so it might be 30%, 20% extra damage on your M1s. Something like that, don't call me on that. Because I haven't been checking the update logs, sorry about that. Um, that's pretty much why I'm putting above kill, by the way. Because it just does a lot of damage, and you know, if you just get the Hellfire on top, like, oh my goodness. Now, the only counter to Gower style is probably sturdy back, but let's keep it real, who has that? Who has that when they're trying to get Hellfire Absolution or that? Maybe some guy out there. But yeah, uh, Gao out the way, we have Mika Zuchi. Now, Mika Zuchi, look, I'm not biased. But it's going in aura. I could have played on base clan this round, you could have hated me in the comments, but I'm playing it in aura. Now, before, right, I would have put Mika in base kit clan this, but they actually buffed Mika quite considerably, like since the last couple of updates. They made Thunderclap, you know, God Break. They removed Vanishing Combo. Yep, they removed Vanishing Combo. <laughs> That's why I'm putting you in all right. Like, why did they remove the entire skill? Like, well, I know, like, that's crazy. But yeah, uh, Thunderclap, it's a nice skill. It's, it's just really predictable. I mean, I can just use Monkey Counter and then it's basically a free hit for me. Um, Lightning Flash. You know, I don't see any Mika's use that, you know, so. Um, let's see. Can I remember off the top of my head? Lightning Flash. Um... Lightning counter, now I remember. Yeah, I've never seen a Mika use that. It's pretty useless. The only good skill Mika Zuchi has, besides um, Thunderclap, has to be Sunfire, which you get from the, uh, you know, which you get from contracts. Sunfire is just cancer. I need to remove that from the game, I hate it. Anyways, um, moving on, because I just don't want to talk about Mika. Like, it doesn't even have its own mode. And Raishin, don't get me started on Raishin. Ration's actually terrible. I don't know why people even use that. Actually garbage. We have Yolato coming up next. Now, you're going to be surprised where I place this one. That's right. Right behind On. You know what? I kind of want to pay above On, but uh, do I? I don't know. Should I? Should I do? I don't know. I, I don't know. I just... I mean, okay, look. I'm going behind On for now. I don't know. I'll probably change my mind, but let's see. Okay. So the reason I put Yoroto in Meta is because it literally gives you height, and we know how you know how important height is first of all in this game. 
and your little toe, it legit gives you either a 0.1 to a 0.3. It's randomized. Uh, let me exp uh, let me expand on that real quick. The moment you roll your little toe, whatever you get between uh, 0.1 and 0.3, that's locked to your account forever. And I've been seeing people saying, oh, but when you do a height reroll on your anniversary, reset your Yoto toe thing, it doesn't. You keep that Yoto toe for life, my friend. The only way you change that Yoto toe is if a developer is like, okay, uh, you know what? Real cool game. It must be on 2.3 real quick. That's legit the only way. That's legit the only way. I'm sorry I had to break it to you. I've done multiple testing. I haven't. Just take my word for it. But yeah, uh, Yoto toe um, gives you height. That's just good. Having height in this game is good. Gives you muscle density. Um, it's just right behind Reynold. Before, Yolto had the best muscle density, but they had to buff Reynold. Like, come on now. Um, Yolto has a nice Dora proficiency from what I recall. And I think it has like strike speed or strike power. I don't know. It has one of them. But yeah, I'm doing this all from memory, by the way. Like, that's how much I love this game. But enough lazing. Enough yapping. Let's get to the next one. Rain holds. Now you're probably wondering, where am I going to put Reynolds? Well, I'm glad you asked. Is Reynolds? Is going in base? Nah, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Is going in... Oh, this is for muscle builds. I wouldn't give this to Aline. Like, we're switching to muscles real quick. Okay, so muscles is Reynolds and Jigoro. All right. And on, I guess. I mean, they kind of butchered on for muscles. It kind of sucks. I'd still use it though. But Reynolds, I put in all right. I'm wondering if I should put it above Mika, but I don't know. Because, yeah, okay, yeah. Because it's for muscles, I'm putting it above Mika. The reason I'm putting it above Mika is because it has a mode. Like, come on now, muscle control. And not just that, Reynold has really good proficiencies and it has the best muscle density in the game. I think it's like 0 0.72. Something like that. Don't quote me on that. Now, with Reynolds. It doesn't give you the Reinhold style. Ooh, it doesn't give you any exclusive skills. But I'm pretty sure having Reinhold as a muscle is just extremely beneficial. Like, why wouldn't you, you know, get the mold if we go build? And muscle barely has any content in the first place. Because I'm pretty sure Reinhold actually buffs some skills. Like, I know it buffs Blast Core. Something like that. Uh, Kaiokishin buffs Blast Core as well. So... You know, if you're a muscle, and if you just pick up Kaiokushin, like, just make that sacrifice. Get the Reinhold clan. Go into muscle control. You don't have to go into muscle control, but you can. And then use that blast core. I'm pretty sure you're doing, like, 800 damage or something. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, on to the next one. We have Jigoro. Now, Jigoro, we already know. Number one clan. Okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. So I really just want to troll this tier list, but I don't want to, you know. I kind of want to help the community for once. Let's put Jigoro where it actually belongs. In the trash. I'm sorry, Jigoro. I didn't want to do this. You know, we've done all our memes in both chat, but... It's time to put it to an end. Unfortunately, Jigoro is basically canvas. And this is for muscle only. Like, Jigoro literally does nothing. Like, the only thing Jigoro offers is a proficiency, and that's about it. You do not keep Jigoro unless you have nothing else. And seeing up in a basic clan, there's something that pretty much explains it. They're probably wondering, why did I put Jigoro below Hora and Sen? Now, while it is true that Jigoro gives you like an extra 100 fat. So, yeah, it does, yeah. 750 is your max cap. That's barely anything. Like, if they actually wanted to make Jigoro good, put that on like a thousand at least. Like, come on now. Like, not even a thousand is enough, put down 2,000. This is like a 1% clan right? And it's being outpaced by Sen and Hora. Like, think about that for a second. Come on now. But yeah, um, Jigoro actually has another passive which people don't bother reading. But it apparently, it like nerfs like the stamina costs for a higher muscles and, you know, dashing. And it makes you pretty much like move faster or something like that. Makes you throw your M1s faster. But none, that's true. It's all cap. I'm sorry. It doesn't exist by now. Um, I don't know if it's like unintentional, if that was just misinformation, but Jigoro literally does nothing. And if a dev is watching this video, please make some time out of your day. Like, bring this up, you know what I mean? Like, maybe add this to like, the next update. Like, make Jigoro actually good. Like, come on. Like, what is Jigoro actually offering to the game other than being a name tag? Like, come on. 
I want to see Jigoro be good. Not j give Jigoro its own skill set at this point. Give Jigoro its own style. Jigoro deserves that much at least. I really like this can. It does nothing but like him. And that's why it's in basically Canis. See, I'm not biased. On to the next one, Sasuga. Yeah. You know what? Sasuga. I'm pretty sure it did actually have a use. You get like fusion. But that's pointless now. Sasuga, I'm sorry, but basically Canis. Yamaguchi. You know what? I'm gonna have to put it above. Actually, no, no. I think Sasuga actually gives you strike speed. You know, strike speed is very useful. I don't think Yamaguchi even gives you strike speed proficiency. So, yeah, Yamaguchi is below that. And Prime. You know, what? I'm putting Prime on like the top of basically Clanness. Because it buffs Abro. And Abro's is older OP. Like, Abro already does a lot. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, San Hora and Prime. I know I was talking about the M1s like buffed by like free damage or something. But it also buffs skill damage. I just wanted to bring that up. Not by a considerable amount. But Prime actually does it the best. And yeah, that's pretty much the tier list. In its completion. For now. Until they add more plans. If you liked the video, like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. But yeah, enough shilling. Peace out. What if I never make it back from this time when I get told? Did he be sliding in a hell? Cap on big professional. Oh, when I die, they gon' make a park bench saying this way is so. Me and your shop and go and rehab. This shit is very so. Me and your shop and find this piece. This shit is very rough Me and your showman at the gym Working out and getting tough I'll never be see you again And I hope you understand I'm such a nice Like a wave of a castle's medicine This shit forever